Moto Z3 Play, Motorola's mid-range is confused. The Moto Z3 Play is a mid-range smartphone with a special trick that's been inherited all down the Moto Z family line, Moto mods that can transform the phone into a Pico projector, 10x zoom camera, loudspeaker and so on. It offers plenty in the way of mid-range performance, an expansive 6-inch display without a notch, and as nice a design as we've seen from Motorola in recent years. With Moto Mods, it even gains functionality the likes of which just isn't seen on other smartphones. While it stands on its own as a good budget pick for smartphone shoppers, it faces competition from the significantly more powerful OnePlus 6. And, just how well Moto Mods can set it apart from the competition will depend entirely on the shopper's interest in that customization. Worst still, Motorola has launched the Verizon exclusive Moto Z3 that only improves on the Z3 Play and somehow does so at a lower price. The result is a very confusing situation for the Z3 Play, which has wider carrier availability but little reason to pick it otherwise. The Moto Z3 Play is available now in the US, but not in the UK or Australia. Motorola sells it unlocked, so you can take your pick of carriers thanks to support for all four major networks. The price is $499 for the Moto Z3 Play, and Motorola offers its own financing plan which can bring it to $21 per month. When purchasing from Motorola, the price also includes the Moto Power Pack battery mod, which is worth $49 on its own. That mod is valuable for almost any user though, as it adds 2,220 mAh of battery life to the phone without any cables to get tangled up in. Currently, Motorola is only offering one flavor of the Moto Z3 Play, a deep indigo model with 64GB of storage and 4GB of RAM. But, for the price, nothing about the Moto Z3 Play feels like it's been skimped on, as it fits solidly in the mid-range category. We could talk for hours about how many other mid-range phones are out there that are offering better looks, more impressive performance, and improved cameras at an equal price to the Moto Z3 Play. We could also look at the all the flagship phones from last year that are easy to score a deal on 12 months later and can still smash the Moto Z3 Play in many ways. But doing that would miss the point of the Moto Z line. Motorola is still putting effort into making good-looking phones that try to keep up with some of the big industry trends, bezel-reduced displays, dual sensor cameras, multiple biometric unlocking methods. What promptly sets Motorola apart, though, are Moto Mods. No other manufacturers are offering the wild versatility that Moto Mods give Moto Z phones. The Moto Z3 Play may just be a normal phone on a normal day. But with a Moto Mod added on, it can turn into a projector, a capable portable gaming handheld, an instant camera, a hassle but zoom camera, a health checkup device, or even an Amazon Alexa speaker. With that kind of functionality, Motorola's Moto Z lineup really sets itself apart from the competition. One potential game changer coming next year for the standard Moto Z3 is a 5G mod set to make the Moto Z3 the first phone upgradable to support a 5G network. Motorola hasn't confirmed many details about the 5G mod, and right now it seems to only be guaranteed to work for the Moto Z3 on Verizon's upcoming 5G network. But, the possibility of the 5G mod working with the Moto Z3 Play could improve the phone's potential in the future. Motorola's Moto Z family design doesn't change terribly much year over year, because each new phone needs to be able to fit Moto mods onto the back. As such, the Moto Z3 Play doesn't look too different from earlier Moto Z phones. It has a 76.5 x 156.5 x 6.75 mm body with an aluminum frame, a glass back, and a Gorilla Glass 3 screen. It weighs 156 grams, which gives it a nice heft that doesn't feel overly heavy. The screen lock button is lonesome on the left side, while the volume button on the right side sits above a side-mounted fingerprint scanner. The fingerprint scanner location is easy to hit, making unlocks quick. But, it's also easy to accidentally hit, as we often found our thumb unlocking the phone when we slid it into our pocket. 
The reason for the relocation of the fingerprint scanner was to make room for the Moto Z3 Play's extensive 6-inch display, which leaves thin bezels on either side and svelte strips for the mix at the bottom and the speaker and selfie camera at the top. Around back, the Moto Z3 Play has the typical, large camera bump up top and the Moto Mons connector near the bottom of the phone.